Hi, my name is Michael Novello. Here I present you fast and effective Photoshop tutorials with amazing results. This tutorial I'm going to show you how you can create a glow effect wallpaper. And for that I have here a black background and I create a new layer. And on this new layer with a real big brush, in this case 800 pixels and a red color, I'm going to click one time in the canvas here. And then I'm going to choose another color, like a bright blue. Okay, and click here. And the next color will be uh, oranges color, something like that. And to give it an extra, some extra kick, I'm going to choose a pink color. To the, with the lowest size of my brush, I'm going to add some more colors here. And the blue is a brighter color as well. Click here to give it a little bit of a 3D effect here. And then the yellow is I'm going with a bright yellow here. And click again. And then I'm going to add a new layer. And then I'm going to filter, render clouds um yeah at first we have to reset our our foreground colors and background colors and now i'm going to filter render clouds and then i'm going to set this layer to overlay mode and now we have a beautiful cloudy colorful look here the next step is to create another new layer here and just the brush a little bit to about eight pixels, <coughs> soft brush. And we have to make sure that in the shape dynamics, pen pressure is on the, the control selected. And then we're going to our path tool and we are doing just a click in here and another here maybe and here and here again and then we go to oh okay let's like that be yeah around s curve something like that should be okay then we are going to click uh, with the right click on the path and we are going to stroke path and you have to make sure that simulate pressure is checked and we click OK and then we have uh, if we delete the path you can see we have a beautiful line here to make this line a little bit stronger I'm going to copy this three times and then I'm going to merge this together by Ctrl E and then I'm going to add a new layer <coughs> And with a really big brush again, with a brush about, let's see, I'm going to work with the brush like this. And I click with the white color, I click one time in the, in the canvas. And then I'm going to modify this. And I bring it down so that it is really small. And let's go in the middle. Let's go with a uh, line like that. Then I'm going to filter the distort filter twirl and with a angle of yeah, let's go with 440, 450. Click OK. And now we have this beautiful curve here. And again, I'm going to copy this a few times and I merge them together so that they are a little bit stronger and I move it to about here. Now I can merge these two layers together by Ctrl E and then I'm going to make a copy of that, bring it a little bit down and to the left and I set the opacity to about yeah, 35 percent is okay. And then I'm going to copy the original layer a few times. Oh, sorry not a few times just one time and then i'm going to filter 
blur Gaussian blur and the number of uh, let's go with 10 of uh, 14 is okay and click OK and now I'm copying them a few times and I bring them together to make this glow effect a little bit stronger and on my original layer curve layer I'm going to control click into the layer and and I'm adding a new adjustment layer a gradient layer in this case and because I have selected it I've made a selection it creates a mask here and I want a really colorful layer here let's go with that maybe just this little bit that's okay okay and now we have a little bit of a color in the layer now we have this color transition here and it's a little bit too hot this transition here because of that I'm going to filter blur Gaussian blur convert to smart object because only rasterized or smart object can be uh, blurred out and I'm going with something like three or four that's okay and then I'm going to create here a new layer and above this new layer I'm creating immediately a solid color layer with the color black and I'm going to change the blend mode to soft light and this gives me a little bit of a better colors of uh, stronger colors a little bit more contrast and now I'm going on this new solid color layer I'm going to filter render lens flare and yes I want to convert it to the smart object and let's go with the movie prime lens and the brightness of yeah, let's go with 120 20 130 or something like that and now we have this, this lens layer here right in the middle and to give the image a last kick I'm going to add a new layer here and I have downloaded some star brushes I provided a link in the description and I'm going to select a star brush and I'm going to with a small size of about 24 or so I'm going to paint in some stars but first I'm going to set the brush uh, scattering to about 200 percent or so and I'm going to paint with the white foreground color I'm going to paint in some stars here and because I'm using a tablet I'm using pen pressure right now and going with a few stars and here as well let's add a few stars and maybe with a bigger star I'm going to add some stars here in the clouds as well let's go with that so that looks like a star field and again a little bit smaller brush I'm going to add some more here and here as well so that it looks like a little bit uh, streaks are creating stars just a little bit here as well and a few stars around here okay and the last step is I'm going to camera raw filter oh no okay console <laughs> I'm going to merge them together in an extra copy here the, all the layers and I'm going to filter camera raw filter and I want to have a vignette by clicking on FX and I'm going to add here a vignette and click OK 
and now we have a little bit of a vignette out on the outer sides of the frame here and yeah we are done like always this is the before and this is the after thank you for watching my videos um, if you like my videos you can subscribe to my channel right here in the middle and my last two videos you can find here and here and if you really like my videos you can support me on patreon.com here's the link and thanks again and see you next time bye